The history of Africa's formation. Africa, the second largest continent in the world, has undergone millions of years of formation and development. Its existence is a long and complex story, closely tied to the geological history of the Earth. Millions of years ago, this continent was once part of the supercontinent Pangaea, where land masses were connected. Over time, tectonic plate movements split Pangaea, creating separate continents. Africa, originating from these geological collisions and separations, has evolved over billions of years. Massive mountain ranges, such as the Atlas Mountains in the north, or deep and vast valleys, like the East African Rift Valley, are evidence of the continent's continuous geological transformations. The changes in climate, rivers, and landforms over millions of years have shaped today's Africa into a place of extraordinary and unique diversity. Africa's geographic location. Africa is bordered by two great oceans, the Atlantic Ocean to the west and the Indian Ocean to the east. This position not only plays a crucial role in shaping the continent's various climate systems, but also makes Africa a key strategic center in human history and trade. Straddling the equator, Africa spans from 34 degrees north latitude to 34 degrees south latitude, covering an expansive area from the Mediterranean region down to the southern tip at the Cape of Good Hope. This unique geographical position creates significant differences in climate across the continent. Northern Africa experiences a warm Mediterranean climate, while the vast Sahara Desert dominates much of the north, central and southern Africa. However, experience tropical and semi-arid climates, with vast savannas and lush tropical rainforests, Terrain and climate, Africa is distinguished by its diverse terrain, from vast plateaus and towering mountain ranges to fertile plains. The Sahara Desert in the north is the world's largest desert, a barren region of sand and stone, where life is harshly constrained by the extremes of nature. However, not far from the Sahara to the south, the Nile River Valley boasts fertile plains that once sustained the great civilizations of ancient Egypt. Central Africa is known for its dense tropical rainforests, with massive rivers like the Congo flowing through, bringing life to millions of plant and animal species. Further east, Mount Kilimanjaro, the tallest mountain in Africa, with its snow-capped peak, symbolizes the continent's grandeur. The East African region is also renowned for the Great Rift Valley, a geologic formation stretching thousands of kilometers, marking the separation of tectonic plates, making the region one of the most earthquake-prone in the world. Africa's climate is equally diverse, reflected in its different ecosystems. The Sahara Desert is scorching hot and arid, with temperatures reaching up to 50 degrees Celsius, while the tropical rainforests have high humidity and abundant rainfall. The savannas, with distinct wet and dry seasons, provide a home for wildlife such as lions, elephants, and giraffes, rich flora and fauna, Africa is home to many unique ecosystems and a wealth of biodiversity. The tropical rainforests of Central Africa, especially in the Congo Basin, are among the most biodiverse regions in the world. Here, towering trees, tangled vines, and rare species like gorillas, chimpanzees, 
and exotic birds can be found. In the savannas, the vegetation primarily consists of tall grasses and shrubs. This is where the largest animals on earth thrive, such as elephants, rhinos, giraffes, and vast herds of zebras, predators like lions, leopards, and hyenas also flourish, creating a harsh but balanced ecosystem. The relentless struggle for survival over millions of years, the diversity in life in Africa have been intertwined with the never-ending struggle for survival among its wildlife. This is a silent yet fierce battle. From herbivores to predators, every creature must fight to survive in an environment filled with challenges and hardships. Every year, herds of zebras and antelopes migrate thousands of kilometers across the savannas in search of water and fresh grass. This journey is not only fraught with natural difficulties, but also threatened by predators like lions, cheetahs, and crocodiles, elephant herds. With the leadership and memory of the elders, continually protect their young from poachers and the harshness of the environment. Predators like lions, leopards, and hyenas constantly struggle to find prey. In nature, failed hunts can lead to death by starvation. So these animals must perfect their hunting skills through each survival battle. Lions, with their strength and pride's unity, have become top predators, but they also face competition from hyenas and other species. The struggle for survival is not only between animals, but also between them and humans. Illegal hunting, habitat loss due to human development, and climate change have posed serious threats to many rare species. Conservation efforts in wildlife reserves and national parks. From Serengeti in Tanzania to Kruger in South Africa, play a vital role in protecting these species from extinction. Conclusion, Africa, with its ancient geological history, diverse landscapes, and incredible biodiversity, is a continent of remarkable stories about life and the relentless struggle for survival. This battle, though harsh and unforgiving, is essential to maintaining the natural balance. Africa is where nature showcases its wildest, most powerful side, and the struggle of its wildlife stands as a testament to the diversity and strength of life on this mystical continent. The skill and instincts of predators. Predators have long been regarded as the master hunters of nature. They possess extraordinary biological weapons, such as sharp claws, powerful jaws, and notably, incredible speed. Take the lion, for example, Known as the king of the jungle, lions typically hunt in prides, using group strategies to take down larger prey. The coordination and understanding among lions when hunting is a testament to their perfect evolution. When one observes a pride of lions lying in wait for the right moment, the feeling of suspense and anxiety for their prey is palpable. Their sharp eyes follow every movement of the prey, and the silence and anticipation of the lions only heighten the intensity of the hunt that is about to unfold. Not only lions, but also tigers demonstrate remarkable hunting instincts. Tigers often hunt alone, relying on their agility and personal strength to overpower their prey. As a tiger stalks its prey, Every movement exudes grace, power, and a sense of caution. Tigers know how to move silently and swiftly but remain full of lethal intent. 
Their strikes are as fast as lightning, and when they target their prey, the chances of escape are slim. Meanwhile, wolves showcase incredible teamwork in hunting. Wolves hunt in packs, often using persistent chasing tactics to exhaust their prey before bringing it down. Their intelligence and coordination make them highly efficient hunters. Watching a wolf pack surround and pursue prey evokes feelings of awe mixed with fear. Witnessing the natural brilliance they've evolved to survive, the intelligent defensive strategies of herbivores. Despite facing dangerous predators, herbivores are far from passive in the survival battle. They have developed numerous intelligent and effective strategies to protect themselves. One of the most common strategies among herbivores is speed. Animals like zebras and antelopes have the ability to run at high speeds, using their strong legs to quickly escape predators. In those tense moments, when a predator spots them, the prey must summon all their energy to flee. The sight of antelopes dashing across the African plains their every step filled with determination makes observers feel the adrenaline rush with every stride. Life and death seem to be decided in a fraction of a second. Additionally, many herbivores employ collective defense tactics. Animals such as buffalo or elephants live in herds, and when attacked, they band together to protect the weaker members such as the young. Buffalo will form a defensive circle, placing the vulnerable in the center while the stronger ones face the predators. This unity is not only a survival instinct, but also a testament to their intelligence and sense of community. Witnessing a herd of buffalo stand their ground against lions instills a sense of tension but also admiration for the power of unity. Beyond running or defensive formations, some herbivores have developed camouflage techniques to avoid detection. For example, giraffes and gazelles live in environments with tall grass, and their color blends into the surroundings, helping them avoid the watchful eyes of predators. When one sees these animals hiding amidst nature, it's hard not to appreciate the subtlety and elegance that they have evolved over millions of years. The natural balance between hunting and defense. In the battle for survival, nothing is absolute. Predators, no matter how strong or agile, do not always succeed in their hunts. And herbivores, despite their intelligence, unity, and speed, are not always able to escape their fate. This creates a balance in nature, where each species plays its role in the food chain. It is this balance that contributes to the richness and diversity of the animal world. When we observe the confrontation between predator and prey, it's not just a battle for survival, it's a symphony of nature, where every species contributes to the ongoing cycle of life. Seeing a lion successfully take down an antelope may evoke sadness, but it's also a reminder of nature's harsh realities. Conversely, when an antelope escapes the claws of a lion, we feel elation and a newfound respect for nature's resilience. In conclusion, the hunting abilities of predators and the defensive strategies of herbivores are incredible manifestations of evolution and natural balance. In the harshness of nature, each species has developed its own skills and tactics to survive. It is this constant confrontation that creates a diverse and marvelous animal world, where every moment brings forth intense emotions and admiration for the intelligence and instinct of the natural world.
In the natural world, especially in harsh landscapes like deserts, life is not only a battle to seize every drop of water, every blade of grass, but also a relentless struggle between survival and death. In this desolate and challenging picture, the weaker animals must endure seemingly endless injustice from both the environment and stronger species. The most apparent form of injustice lies in the disparity of survival opportunities. While proud predators like cheetahs, powerful wolves, or top-tier predators dominate nature with their strength, speed, and cunning, on the other side, Smaller creatures such as desert mice, lizards, or small birds have to contend with danger at every turn. These weaker species not only face hunger and thirst, but also must remain constantly vigilant against predators lurking in the shadows. A small mouse can lose its life in the blink of an eye under the sharp claws of a hawk or become prey for a snake hidden beneath the scorching sands. The harshness of the desert extends beyond natural conditions. Amplified by the cruelty of the food chain, weaker creatures must either adapt or be eliminated. There is no leniency or assistance from nature. While a lion can easily find water after a few successful hunts, a small rabbit may face death simply because it can't find enough shade to avoid the devastating midday heat. This difference in resilience places weaker creatures perpetually on the brink of extinction. Injustice is also evident in survival capabilities in such harsh environments. Stronger species, such as desert snakes or foxes, have developed perfect adaptations to survive extreme temperatures and water scarcity. Meanwhile, weaker animals face immense pressure to survive because their bodies are not equipped to withstand the scorching heat and the depletion of water. Imagine a tiny bird struggling to find a precious water source to sustain its offspring only to discover that all waterholes have dried up and the hot winds bring nothing but looming death. The small creatures of the desert not only have to contend with fierce predators, but also battle unforgiving natural conditions. Scorching summer days with temperatures reaching 50 degrees Celsius, sudden sandstorms sweeping away everything, and increasingly scarce food sources are all dire threats. A small lizard may be pushed to the brink of extinction simply because it cannot find enough insects to survive the dry season. They have no choice but to continue searching, continue struggling knowing that hope is slim. The sense of injustice becomes even more pronounced when looking at the mother-child relationship in the natural world. Weaker animals not only worry about themselves but also have to protect the next generation, their vulnerable offspring who have yet to learn survival skills. A small mongoose might have to sacrifice its own life to distract predators from its litter. These frail creatures, in their helplessness, must accept the cruelty and injustice of nature when they cannot protect their young from inevitable threats. Natural injustice in the desert world is also evident in the fact that effort does not always yield rewards. A small antelope, no matter how fast it runs or how smart it is, sometimes cannot escape the claws of a predator. The efforts of these weaker creatures though incredibly brave, are often crushed by the strength and superiority of the dominant species. This harsh reality creates an unchangeable injustice. The weak are always oppressed and sacrificed to sustain the life of the stronger. Yet, within this injustice lies a beauty worth admiring. These small, weak creatures continue to fight they do not give up. 
They do not stop seeking ways to survive, even knowing the odds are slim. Perhaps this injustice is an inseparable part of life, and these fragile beings are a testament to the resilience of the spirit in a world full of danger. They continue to move forward, continue to fight, knowing they may never win. Life in the desert is a brutal illustration of the injustice in the natural world, but it is also proof of the resilience and indomitable spirit of weaker animals. This world may be unjust, but those small creatures persist, continuing their survival journey in an unforgiving environment. This not only evokes empathy, but also reminds us of the true meaning of life, a constant struggle to survive and grow, despite all hardships and injustices. The migration habits of herbivorous animals in Africa are among the most magnificent and emotional journeys on this planet. This journey is not just a story of survival, but also a testament to the miraculous harmony between wild nature and the eternal cycle of life. For thousands of years, herds of wildebeest, zebras, and buffalo have migrated across the vast plains of Africa, spanning from Tanzania to Kenya. This journey is filled with hope, resilience, and immense sacrifice. Each year, during the dry season, over a million wildebeest accompanied by hundreds of thousands of zebras, Thompson's gazelles, and other herbivorous animals, embark on a journey stretching over 1.600 kilometers. They follow ancient paths, guided by the rhythm of the earth, heading north to seek water and fresh grass in the Maasai Mara plains of Kenya. This journey typically takes place between July and October, but the miracle of it is that it has no specific beginning or end, constantly flowing like the perpetual stream of life. These large herds migrate in dense groups, moving together across arid lands and overcoming numerous challenges. This is not just a quest for food, but a relentless struggle for survival. The animals must face natural predators such as lions, leopards, hyenas, and, most notably, massive crocodiles in the fast-flowing rivers. These life-and-death battles are the tragic beauty of nature, where life and death intertwine and merge. In addition to ferocious predators, the harsh weather of Africa poses a significant challenge. The scorching heat of the dry season cracks the earth, withers trees, and depletes water sources. Dust storms sweep across the desert, making each step of the herbivores heavier and more exhausting. Yet, it is in these extreme conditions that the resilience of nature is most vividly portrayed. The brave animals, unflinching, follow their survival instincts, moving in herds and heeding the call of life. In this grand journey, the herbivores not only bond with one another, but also play an essential role in the ecosystem of Africa's savannas. Their footsteps cover hundreds of kilometers of grasslands, helping to disperse seeds aerate the soil, and promote the growth of vegetation in the areas they traverse. They are a crucial link in the food chain, sustaining the predators and contributing to the ecological balance. However, their journey is not always peaceful. Every year, thousands of wildebeest, zebras, and buffalo perish on this path. Some fail to cross the large rivers, where giant crocodiles lie in wait. Others succumb to exhaustion or are hunted down. But whenever an animal falls, 
It becomes sustenance for other species, contributing to the harsh but meaningful survival cycle of nature. Perhaps what makes this journey most moving are the touching stories of solidarity and love within the animal herds. Wildebeest, in particular, have a prominent migration tradition. They travel in large herds, together enduring the arduous path. The leaders of the herd are usually the strongest and wisest, guiding the entire group in search of food and water. When a member of the herd becomes weak or injured, they never abandon their companion but often turn back to help. This highlights a profoundly humane aspect of the animal world, where solidarity and sharing become the strength to overcome the harshest challenges. Another special aspect of this migration is the continuous succession of generations. Newborns are brought into the world along the migration route, under the blazing African sun, becoming symbols of life and hope. They are the future of the herd, nature's promise of eternal continuity. Although only a fraction of these newborns will survive to adulthood, they stand as living proof of the everlasting cycle of life. In this context, the sight of the first seasonal rains on the horizon is always a sign of a new beginning. When the rains fall, the dry plains quickly transform into lush green carpets, filled with fresh grass. It is nature's reward for the relentless efforts of the migrating herbivores. Streams and rivers come alive again, bringing new life and hope to the migrating herds. That moment is also when the animals find temporary peace after their arduous journey. The migration habits of Africa's herbivores are not just a natural phenomenon, but also a symbol of perseverance, courage, and an intense desire for life. Their journey reminds us of the profound connections between species within ecosystems and the importance of protecting nature. Witnessing this migration, we not only appreciate the beauty of wild nature, but also realize valuable lessons about the meaning of life, no matter how challenging the journey. As long as we do not give up, we will always find hope and light ahead. For the migrating herds on Africa's savannas, each step is not just a journey of survival, but also a journey of hope and the future. Life in the Desert, a powerful tale of strength and weakness. The desert, a place often associated with dryness and the harshness of nature, is a landscape both unforgiving and awe-inspiring. Under the scorching sun and relentless winds, life here weaves a story of survival and adaptation, from powerful rulers to vulnerable prey. Every creature faces the brutal unfairness of nature, Survival belongs only to those who adapt best. The dominators of the desert rulers of barren lands. First, we must speak of the dominators of the desert, those creatures seemingly born to conquer the heat and aridity of the land. Among them, the desert cheetah stands out as a symbol of speed and resilience. It hunts under the blazing sun, tracking its prey from afar, then unleashing its remarkable speed to finish the chase. For the cheetah, the desert is not a challenge but a vast hunting ground to explore and dominate. Desert snakes are also iconic symbols of power. They burrow beneath the sand, 
lying in wait for unsuspecting prey to pass by before launching a swift attack. Their venom quickly paralyzes the victim, turning it into a meal amidst the desert winds that carry away the futile cries of the weaker creatures. For these mighty predators like the cheetah and snake, life in the desert is not a battle for survival, but a quest to maintain dominance. Yet, not all desert dwellers are fortunate enough to wield such strength and ferocity. The weak, silent heroes of survival, under the reign of these powerful creatures exist many smaller, weaker species that, while vulnerable, are no less important to the desert's ecosystem. The desert rat, though tiny, is a master of patience and agility. It survives by burrowing deep into the sand, escaping the deadly heat and predators lurking nearby. Only when night falls does it dare emerge from its shelter to forage for food in the form of precious seeds or rare blades of grass. The desert lizard, too, is a symbol of weakness yet resilience. These small reptiles dart across scorching sands on their tiny legs, constantly alert to danger. When pursued, they can change their skin color to blend in with the sand, a clever tactic to escape predators and cling to life. These weaker species, though small and fragile, have learned to survive in the face of the desert's harsh inequities. For them, life is a relentless series of challenges, with each day a battle to preserve their existence unfairness in nature, the harsh law of the strong and the weak. In nature, fairness as we know it does not exist. In the natural world, life belongs to those who can adapt and overcome the challenges presented by their environment. The desert is a perfect illustration of this rule. The strong, endowed with superior speed or deadly force, seem to have been born to win. They dominate and overwhelm the weaker creatures, living freely without fear of predators. But for the weak, life is a constant struggle. Often, their struggle isn't to rise to the top, but simply to survive. They must accept the harshness of their world, learning to live under the constant threat of stronger beings. Creatures like the desert rat or the lizard may never have the chance to rise to the top of the food chain, but they continue to live, preserving their existence through the skills and instincts that nature has endowed them with. This leads us to an important lesson about life sometimes. It is not the strongest who survive the longest, but those who know how to endure and adapt to every new situation. However, the unfairness of the natural world persists, and not everyone is fortunate enough to win this struggle. Human lessons from nature's unfairness. When we look at life in the desert, we don't just see the cruelty of survival rules, but also gain profound human lessons about life. Every creature, whether a dominant predator or a vulnerable prey, plays a vital role in the ecosystem and deserves respect. While unfairness exists, each species carries within it a story of perseverance, courage, and a fierce will to live. Desert snakes may symbolize brutality, but they also represent extraordinary strength and adaptability. Meanwhile, the small desert rat teaches us about patience and ingenuity. Despite being constantly hunted, these little creatures never stop fighting, constantly finding ways to survive, even knowing they are always the target of stronger predators. Perhaps what the desert truly teaches us is the meaning of survival. In a world where unfairness is a given, 
Life is not just a right for the strong, but also a constant battle for the weaker creatures. In fact, it is the struggle of the weaker species, in their constant effort to survive, that demonstrates the invisible power of nature, a power that doesn't come from muscles or venom, but from a resilient heart and a fierce will to live. The desert, with all its harshness and unfairness, remains a breathtaking symbol of life. The dominators and the weaker creatures, despite existing on opposite ends of the food chain, create a remarkable ecosystem where every life is valuable. Unfairness in nature is part of life, but it is precisely this unfairness that makes life more resilient and enduring.